In this lesson, we are going to rename fractions and mixed numbers. A mixed number is a whole number and a fraction. For example, 3 and 4 fifths is a mixed number. You can rename a mixed number as a fraction greater than 1. First, you have to multiply the denominator times the whole number. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Next, you have to add your numerator to the product. So 15 plus 4 equals 19. Now we're going to put 19 over our origina original denominator, 19 fifths. You can also write a fraction greater than 1 as a mixed number. For example, 15 fourths can be written as a mixed number. We're going to divide and use the quotient and remainder to write a mixed number. We can divide 15 divided by the denominator 4. 4 goes into 15 three times. 4 times 3 is 12. We'll subtract and get a remainder of 3. To write 15 fourths as a mixed number, we write 3 wholes, the remainder becomes our numerator, and our denominator is the same. So 15 fourths equals 3 and 3 fourths. Let's practice some other examples. For this one, we're going to write the mixed number as a fraction. The mixed number is 4 and 2 sevenths. So first we'll multiply our denominator times our whole number. 7 times 4 equals 28. Now we must add our numerator. 28 plus 2 equals 30. We'll write our answer 30 over our denominator 7. So we have 30 sevenths is equal to 4 and 2 sevenths. Here's another example. 2 and 1 sixths. First we'll multiply 6 times 2 which is equal to 12. Now we'll add our numerator of 1. 12 plus 1 equals 13. And we'll write 13 over our denominator of 6. 2 and 1 6 equals 13 6. Let's look at 3 and 3 fourths. First we'll multiply. 4 times 3, which is equal to 12. Now we'll add our numerator 3. 12 plus 3 is equal to 15. And we write 15 over our denominator 4. So 3 and 3 fourths equals 15 fourths. Now let's write the fraction as a mixed number. We have the fraction 32 fifths. We need to divide 32 by 5. 32 divided by 5. I asked myself how many times can 5 fit into 32? I know that 6 times 5 is equal to 30, and I can subtract to find my remainder of 2. So 6, remainder 2. 32 fifths is equal to 6 wholes and 2 fifths. Let's try another one. We have 19 thirds and we want to write this fraction as a mixed number. So I will divide 19 by 3. I ask myself how many times can 3 go into 19. 
I know that 6 times 3 is equal to 18. I can subtract to find my remainder of 1. So I have 6 remainder 1. So 19 thirds is equal to 6 holes and 1 over 3, 1 third. 19 thirds equals 6 and 1 third. And this concludes our lesson on renaming fractions and mixed numbers.